Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audiblepodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media. Over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player. I'm getting awesome! You're getting awesome! We're getting awesome! Yeah, that's what I said now! Hey guys, it's the awesome cast. We are back again. We got all kinds of people. We got thumbs up in the crowd. We got the thumbs up. That's all I got. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All I know that's going on is that Rob DeLaCrate is with us again tonight. Hi, Rob. With his Hi. fantastic uh, compression-friendly white wall behind him. I do what I can. You know, it's not white, but I do what I can. <laughs> We're we're a little, we're a little bandwidth. Uh, I noticed that. I'm not doing anything. Unless, it's probably uh, my fault. Actually, I, should probably, oh, I have a GIF loading in the other tab. Hold on. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Let me take care of that. Is all the GIFs loading in the other tab? <laughs> <laughs> Every GIF on the internet loading. <laughs> also with us, AJ. No, you guys. Not, wait, you're not Charles Kim. What the hell? <laughs> Hi, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. That's not you at all. No, it no. isn't. <laughs> All right. Well, well, we, we know who you are. Tell people where what, what you what you blog at, since I can't show them right now. <laughs> uh, I blog at virtualpotholes.wordpress.com. Sorg will eventually find it here. Eventually. And uh, eventually, not yet. Not yet. That's not it. <laughs> nope. That's just nope. that's just nope. Charles Kim. That's not it. So, anyways, uh, <laughs> oh, and a great uh, guest last week. Uh, Let's yes. See, you're, you're the so seat. go try their app. There's a free plug. That won't keep me interested. Don't keep me distracted. <laughs> so, but yeah, I blog at virtualpotholes.wordpress.com. Uh, big announcements in my neck of the world, nerd world today that I won't get into on this show because I'll just bore you all to tears. So, um, there you yeah, are. I'm there probably going to blog about that this week. There it is. Ah, there it is. Look at that. Go there. <laughs> yeah. On the couch, as usual, Chachi. I Not guess. playing children's games this week. Nope. nope. I am interested in the conversation. <laughs> 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 oh yeah. Well, okay. We'll mention you were like you 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 were like kind of like. Unfortunately, I have a two camera setup on you guys. <laughs> yeah, I was. I, yeah, I was. Like no, 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 to, to be to be fair, you had played the game. You already played it through. Yeah, I, I was done. And your attention span was done. Yeah, pretty much. That's what you were at. Yeah. So, but you don't care about app development. That, yeah, that's that's really. fine. That's fine. Not my cup of tea. Not your cup of tea. Gaming, gaming's my cup of tea. Gaming's your cup of tea. <laughs> cup of tea. Yeah. That's why he's I on the other side of the fence on that one. <laughs> yeah. 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 You All guys, right. you guys create the apps. And I'll play the crap out of him, or until I get bored. <laughs> He's the user. Yeah. He's the user, not the maker. As far as apps go, yeah. Uh, speaking of makers, he's making stuff. He's over there at ThoughtfulRide.com. Will I... Rutherford, <laughs> known as DJ Lunchbox from the Wrestling Mayhem show. <laughs> the Sorry, man... this, this is distracting Chachi. What's up, hot dogs? I'm on the awesome cast this week. I just expected that to be lewd. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's it very it is very do difficult a, do we have for me. A dump button for that? No. Do we? <laughs> like a, there's no five second delay. No, not really, not really. So I can show my titties and. Oh, oh whoa! Yeah. I know. Oh. I know. Hey, that's, hey, not a, that's, that's not a that's not a bad word. Actually, not a bad word. Actually, yes. When I, I that was that's one of the seven dirty words. What? Yeah. Oh no. That's, yeah. <laughs> Great. Now you're yeah. gonna be beeps. Now oh, you're gonna be beeps. I tried. You're I tried bleeped. really hard. Now you're bleeped. Oh. It only took uh, five <laughs> minutes into the show. Not my fault. <laughs> Not my fault. Well, anyways, hey, yeah, and I'm Sork. I, I guess I should introduce Hi, myself. Hi, Sork. Well. That's me. That's me. That's what I do. Uh, we're at awesomecast.com. If you stumble upon us, hit us up. Contact at awesomecast.com or uh, 724-25-ACAST or 724-252-2278. And if you don't got the numbers, we're on iTunes. We're on Mediafly. A lot of people watch us on your Roku box on the Blip TV channels. Uh, we're on Blip TV and YouTube, of course. Please go check us out. Watch our stuff. Listen to our stuff. Please leave some comments. Uh, the plus negative and in between um and, and let us know what you think about things Roku. especially when we're wrong that happens that happens i am never I like wrong. to tell sorg and chachi when they're wrong so. i am never Join me. wrong <laughs> yeah i can't wait to read your one on the mayhem show um that wasn't a wrong thing that was just a interesting thing um anyways yeah. so what the hell's going on this what was he I, I had something from chachi yeah uh, and i wanted to bring this up because i know we have a bunch of eaters 
eaters in the group. That yes. would be me. I'm yes. fat. A- AJ. Cool. AJ loves to eat. AJ okay. goes to mm-hmm. restaurants all the time. Rob. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, and I, 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 I always pay attention when they tell me not to eat somewhere. Okay. Because they're usually right, whether it be yep. service or the food itself. Okay. Yeah, we're okay. really okay. good at this. I'm so, a professional. I mean, yeah. I, I, when they tell me not to eat somewhere, chances are I'm not going to eat there. It better be. It has to be my last option, or okay. and even then okay. I'll pass. Okay, fat kid's prerogative. Gotcha. But um, <laughs> and I'm a stickler. I, I, we worked at country club at a country club all the way through high school. Yep. So I'm a stickler when it comes to service. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the foodies that I follow sent out a, a link to an article about restaurants uh, developing e tabs. And this is a uh, Berg Gourmand. Yes. Okay. Um. Is the, is the Twitter account yeah. for anybody that Gour- want to follow? Gourmand. Gourmand. But, um, Gourmand. I'm sorry. It's French. Yeah. I'm not fat kid enough. But um. We oui, we. Oui. Anyhow, uh, he sent an article about restaurants uh, developing and possibly switching to uh, tablets for menu and for checking out. Mm-hmm. And, and this is happening already to an extent. Wine lists are on iPads. I think uh, the one place down at the Mellon Building. Uh, that has our wine list on an iPad. Well, uh, lo- there's a local business in Pittsburgh uh, right now. Our good friends over at Bach Town. Uh, go see Chris. Hi, Chris, if you're listening. Uh, she is using an app for the iPhone called Tabbed Out, which allows you to pay your tab from your iPhone without having to talk to the waitress, waiter, bartender, whatever. And we're nice. starting to see uh, Square starting to offer that uh, in, in for what we're doing at the cafe. If you come in, run a credit card, and get the text link, uh, and download Square app, do your account thing. You just walk in, bring up the app, bring up the card for our cafe, and your name will pop up under the options for cash or credit. So there's a lot of this going on. Right. And, you know, those are good ways to use the technology. Yeah. yeah. However, I'm against this this whole idea. Okay. Because what they want to do is they want to put a console at each table that allows you to sit down, look at the menu, order... And then, wait. So like really, we're going back to that Microsoft Surface thing all over again. Yeah, like mm-hmm. at this point, it, it, from what it sounds like, what they're trying to do is they're trying to get rid of the wait staff, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. means it's going to take longer for you to receive everything. Now, uh, not necessarily. Uh, it takes out the human interaction. I mean, the thing, you go in and sit down and say, boom, boom, bring me a drink. Somebody brings you a drink in a couple minutes because it's coming up and they're going right down the order, right? Um, and then you just put in your, your order when you're ready. You don't have to wait for them to come back with your drinks. If you're like, really, I kind of know what I want after a second, you know, after a glance at the menu. I mean, it, it could it could speed that process up for you. Now, are, are, you, are you just upset that the, the human interactions leaving me? this uh process i think it's going to take longer in general for everything okay okay because well, i think, think this is more uh this is initially should be at least more geared towards like when you go to uh a get-go for us or a wawa for new jersey or whatever mm, wawa. Place you would go to <laughs> so you've got the touch screens yeah, mm. so that, that you order your sandwich through yeah it makes it easier for you to get in get what you want and get out yeah i have a feeling that this is like you're not going to go to salt of the earth Locals better know, not and end up with a with a touchscreen kiosk even though they use a, a, uh, an iPad to handle seating you are absolutely not going to see anything like that for quite some time no. and even then you're, there's still going to be human interaction not so, reg- not reg- if this is happening at like IHOP sure I don't care <laughs> But I think the the difference here, and this is, and like Rob's saying, is that you're not going to take out the human interaction at a nice enough place where the human interaction is expected. Like if you walk into a place like Salt of the Earth, you're not going to be handed an iPad and go, "I know what everything is on here." That that's a restaurant that has a very uh, a high level of ingredient, a high level of technique, and a high level of uh, of cuisine. So that whenever you're in there, you're not you're gonna say, well, um, yeah, I totally want this uh, this shrimp with these legumes and, and so on and so forth. You, you know, you're gonna want to ask the you know the wait staff and say, hey, uh, is this any good? Uh, what do you recommend here? What are the specials? What's the what's the best way to go? You know, what's the best way to go here tonight? I, when I was at uh, at the aforementioned uh, Bach Town. Mm-hmm. Um, they, I ordered one of the specials. They ran out. Uh, 
so they asked uh, when they came back and the and the waitress who was uh, super nice uh, said, "Hey, you want to try that hot sausage meatball sandwich? It is fantastic." So I took her, I took her, uh, uh, her recommendation, and it was fantastic. And I highly recommend you go get that sandwich at said place. They have four hundred and some different kinds of beer. So, um, and their okay. food is awesome. But so go there. Salt the menu changes too much to have. Explain and, and like you explain said, salt of the earth for people that don't know. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> salt of the Earth is considered uh, American it, fusion a... cuisine. <laughs> okay. So it is based around the idea that uh, well, it's by Kevin Sousa, who is a uh, uh, basically like the celebrity chef in Pittsburgh. Okay. Uh, he's opened a lot of places that are really good. But when you go to a place like Salt of the Earth, it's a place where you do not make any substitutions. You do not change anything on the menu. You order what's on the menu or you don't order. Um, all of the wait staff are not the kind of person who like, you know, they came in at three o'clock, took a rundown of the menu, and then they're just kind of like guessing at what it is. These people have uh, an extremely in-depth knowledge of not just every bit of ingredient that goes into these dishes, but exactly how they're prepared and how they pair with each other, and uh, and they can provide you with with a really amazing amount of input as to like what is going to give you the best experience. Um, you know, special list of cocktails, stuff like that. Not crazy expensive, but you know, you, you get what you pay for, and uh, so- you can tell that a whole lot of like love and hard work goes into everything <laughs> that you eat there. So not there's not an app for that. No, no, there's no. not an app for that. But like the, that that is a fantastic metaphor. Like there is an app for Ritter's Diner. There is an app for IHOP, but there is not an app Eaton for Park here. Sheets. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But so. do you really think you should? <laughs> I mean, I, all right, I, I agree with you. There, there's an app for restaurants like that. Mm-hmm. Um. Even, in my opinion, restaurants as far up as maybe, like, the Harris Grill, where the menu doesn't really change all that much. Yeah. But I think it should be for a place where... The, I think you could turn that around and say that a tablet would be great for places where the menu does change all the time. Because yeah. it's not needing to be reprinted every single time that they want to make a change to the menu. And I know the there are places. The earth, I don't think the they, they're the in Pittsburgh yet, but I know there are places who do use the iPad as a menu for that. For instance... If you go to Salt of the Earth <clears throat> and uh, you don't have, because their menu, they don't have paper menus. They have the big chalkboard on the wall. That's what you get your menu from. Because if they run out of a certain kind of fish, they will still have a fish dish, but the fish will change. And if you can't see a wall, if a waiter is like running around, be like, "Hey, look, I'll be right back." But if you have a smartphone, you can go to uh, Salt of the Earth dot com slash uh, menu or whatever it is. I can't remember the address, and you'll see the menu on your phone. Same deal, uh, because you can definitely, it's much easier to uh, have somebody in a terminal in the back, like, edit some text real quick in a WordPress template or something, uh, and, and have that passed around with electronic devices than it is to make those, like, stupid little addendums on printed menus, or to tell everybody who walks in the door what the change is. What? So, it's there, it's just, I don't think that we're going to see the, um, the entire, like, the whole big dependence on, on those devices. I don't know. Somebody, somebody at some point has to hand you that. I, I, I think, think there's going to be experimentation. I think there's restaurants on both sides of the scale where removing the human interaction is a bad thing mm-hmm. or a thing that you can't do. Mm-hmm. Um, like, we'll go back to Eaton Park for an example. Like, I don't think that's a good place to remove the human interaction because it's hard enough to get a refill as it is. <laughs> Well, the other thing is, there's also uh, a bit of this is an incredibly in-depth conversation. Um, <laughs> well, that's why that's why I added it. Structure that follows through. If you are going to take the people out of the equation, it means you're also going to have like, say, there's an iPad on every table. You walk down the iPads. First of all, the iPad's going to be tethered to the table or locked down in yeah, some right. form or fashion, at least in a perimeter sense, in the same way that you can't take a shopping cart out of a Chinese parking lot because it'll stop working. Um, <laughs> what? And then you're also going to have a little thing There's that you say, sensors. you know, yeah. I'm sitting at table A23, and I would like a refill. Then your cup is probably going to have an RFID tag in it, and you walk up to the, you know, the soda fountain or whatever, and you put your cup in, and it's actually going to work. And if you haven't already authorized your free refill, 
<laughs> it won't let you refill. So I just got you that refill at Eden Park the instant you want it. Well, that's true. There you go. Feel about that. There you go. I don't, because if I go to a sit-down restaurant, I don't want to have to get up. <laughs> uh, the thing. Buffalo Wild Wings in Greensburg just has it there, and they just expect you to go get up and get your own drink. What the hell? Really? What happened? Which to your... is actually really nice because there are times when I'm just like, "Man, I'm really thirsty." These waitresses are running around. Oh wait, I'll just go get my drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually really nice. It's surprising. People were like, "Really? You do that?" I'm like, "Yeah, it's nice." I get up, I take a walk. It's right by the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I take a right. stroll. I go sightseeing. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It, it, Okay. I don't know if you noticed. Maybe you should check your camera, AJ, because we kind of got a little bit of a crotch cram going on. <laughs> uh, yeah, about that. Yes, uh, we do. Uh, Dong. Uh, yeah. Hey. All right. All right. All right. Uh, nice yeah. to meet you. I was, I'm trying to uh, – I'm actually putting a beta 3 of the uh, uh, iOS 5 on my iPhone right now, and I have to do that on the computer that's actually behind this one. All right. So. All right. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Well, so hmm. basically we come to – the same conclusion that we come to when in implementing technology in any industry. Mm. There's good and there's bad, and move yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. I mean... <laughs> there's good and there's bad, and it's going to take time, and a lot of implementations, implementations are going to be really horrible, and yeah. I can guarantee there there will be a handful of implementations. There's a, there's a lot of uh, novelty with that, you know. Fair enough. I mean, uh, you know, if you're using a square on an iPad or something, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, cool, you're doing it on an iPad. But then it's like, okay, is it functional enough? And it is for a certain, you know, certain people, but not others. Right. So. Okay. Fair anyways, enough. moving on. That's a good conversation. Well, you had something you wanted to talk about. Uh, yeah, I can. I can actually um, make a smooth this transition. Is a therapy group? From... Did we turn into a therapy? Group? <laughs> Hi, <laughs> my name is Will. <laughs> I like technology. Hi, Will. See, I you know Will. about the group. Thank you. <laughs> Um, Tell us on the show us on the doll where the bandwidth caps. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's say you do have a restaurant. Oh, Sorg's breaking everything. Oh no, I was gonna give him a visual aid. <laughs> Throw and stuff everywhere. Um, let's oh, let's say you do have a, a restaurant that does use the iPad and um, <laughs> <laughs> ignore everything that just happened. Uh, let's say you have what? to, you know, you have a, you know. Uh, <clears throat> 50 seat restaurant, 100 seat restaurant. And, you know, you're going through and you're turning tables and you're going through lunch rush and everything like that. And every order is going through on an iPad and this, that, and the other. Uh, how much data do you think is going to be used on that iPad, on that iPhone? All of that. We're presuming it's like a square system where it's, it's pinging out to, a, to the internet. Right. right. We're right. not talking about something that's communicating with an internal server. Like, and there's, there's a distinction. And we're also going to presume that whoever's running this restaurant is not smart enough to use Wi Fi. Right. Uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Chachi. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what, uh, what, uh, what I, what I oh, wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forget you. <laughs> what I wanted to talk about this week is um, I have this is my phone. I, uh, um, there are many like it. Smart this one to use is mine. Wi-Fi. You're not? I wasn't. I figured if anybody. Yeah, no. Um, he is now. I have yeah. a I have a Droid too. I like my Droid too. I used to have an iPhone. I have five Android. I like I like the iPhone as well, but mm. I mainly like the Droid too. The Droid three just came out, and as soon as I saw it, I thought that's awesome. I want to go get that tomorrow because it's only going to be two hundred dollars if I renew my contract. Mm. But in addition to renewing my contract, suddenly I have caps on my data. Okay. Because uh, with my current contract, like, we have the unlimited data. It's great. But um, as soon as I renew, they're going to lock me into you know X amount of data per month. And I think the lowest you can get is for $30 a month, you get 2 gigs. Use Wi-Fi. Uh, I would love Did, to uh, use Wi-Fi. But shouldn't you guys be grandfathered? Shouldn't that be grandfathered in? Yeah, I thought you were. Until you re until you change your contract, no. Yeah. Oh, so that's not a so like the iPhones. The iPhones it, it, it carries over. So it no, yeah, it does. No, no. Wow. Wow. no. Go as soon as Verizon. as soon as I yeah. go in and get my new phone, unless I want to pay eight hundred dollars for it, I it it's cheap with a contract renewal. Cheap being a relative term, but with a contract renewal, that also includes you know that tiered data plan, and um, the whole thing really got me thinking about how. Um, what? Go ahead, no. No, I didn't have anything to okay. say. I yawned, you just wanted and to I just pointed at. Oh. And it had nothing to do with your conversation. I will I... put the laptop back no, on. No, I, I find this interesting. <laughs> okay. I, it's just been a long day. I, I understand. 
Um, but it got me thinking about there was a there was another news story that came out about how internet service providers are now taking a more active role in you know blocking pirates and things like that. Arr. And I was thinking about how are they going to do that? Well, they're going to have to watch you know uh, how much data is being used uh, per person per month and all that stuff, and you know put caps and scroll people back mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, they, there's, there's, they, they already have Comcast has 250 gigabytes. I think what AT and T DSL is doing 100 gigabytes, if I'm mm-hmm. not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, I don't think my Verizon FiOS has anything or else I'd be in trouble. No, exactly. no, it doesn't. <laughs> no. But it occurs to me that um, okay, Verizon can do this now because uh, AT and T did it first, mm-hmm. and now Verizon, their big competitor, is. They have the data plans, so now Verizon can have the data plans, and I think all it's going to take is one heavy, heavy-duty internet service provider to start doing <laughs> the exact same thing. We're going to have tiered data plans. You get X amount of gigabytes per month, and if you go over that, it's whatever. Like Verizon's is going to be ten dollars per gig that you go over, and I think we we get one heavyweight like Verizon does it with their home internet or comcast or somebody one of the big companies does that and it's going to be a domino effect and the conclusion i came to was um we all of us here live or lived through a golden age of the internet Mm -hmm. everything was fast everything was free everything was great uh we weren't getting completely you know um just taken advantage of and raped in the wallet and um I think, depending on how things shake out within the next few years, we could see some major changes in how the internet is handled mm-hmm. in the United States, and not for the better. And you're seeing. Well, you're, go ahead. I, I, I mean, I see that we already have one of the heavy hitters being Comcast at 250 gigs. That's still a limit. Uh, I, I still think that if you come down, if they take this and do what AT and T did on the wireless side. And they say, okay, you're only going to get 100 gigs of data, but your broadband's only going to be 15 bucks. People will do that. Mm-hmm. My mom doesn't use 100 gigs of data a month. I, crap, I don't think I do 100 gigs of data a month. If they would do that and I could sit there and do the same thing I do on my iPhone that I do, that I could, if I could do that with my home internet, I mean, I could say, like, hey, in the last, like, today, I downloaded uh, the IPSWs for the iPad, iOS 5, iPhone, iOS 5, iTunes, and uh, something else. And it, it ended up being, like, six or seven gigs yeah. plus the uploads because it was from the lovely uh, uh, torrent of data. Um, so let's say we double that. <laughs> let's make it 12. Mm-hmm. So you're now looking at 12 gigs of my monthly 100 or my monthly 150. Then there would be increments of, say, I don't know, 25 gigs where you would have your your 25 that would, uh, okay, now I've used this amount of data. Oh, wait, I went over. Here's my next 25. Here's my next 50 or however many of those increments are, and this is how much I pay, and I went over. I think people understand that. Yeah, mm-hmm. and there's, I mean, there's a pretty simple, as much as I'll, I'll absolutely argue net neutrality to a grave and all that good stuff, um, as far as just the basic flow of bandwidth of data, something to be considered is that um, you can compare it to, you know, when there's no caps on anything, it's like there's a water source and anybody can take as much as they want. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if somebody comes in and they take a ton of water, somebody else is going to get screwed over. So at some point, a resource has to be managed in order for everybody to be able to use it. That means your grandmother gets a chance to watch Netflix, and you might, you know, not be able to download 500 gigs of hentai in a month. <laughs> Darn it, man, <laughs> man, man, man! Rob, you just told me of a future I don't want to be a part of. That's right. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Grandma watching Netflix. Come on. Everybody gets a piece of the pie. I know what's on there. I want my hentai. Hey, speaking of Netflix. Yes, they did a thing today. They did do yes. a thing today. Netflix uh, went out and said, hey, customers, remember that time that you got $10 a month and you got your DVD and your movie? Well, that'll be enough. Uh, we're going to raise that by $6 a month. Uh, and now we're going to give you DVD only, streaming only, or both. And if you want both, you're going to pay through the nose for it. Uh, so just go with the streaming. It'll be really nice for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. so remember all those times that I said that Netflix sucks? 
it really sucks now. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. About it's, that. it's just it's know just like that. um I don't find I was... it that big of a deal. I I have this 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 happens to me like at least every other day. Well, first well, I, t- I think I talked to, to to Mike about this the other day. Okay. The the app, the iPhone app, can die in a fire. <laughs> it's, I, all I want to do, I want to open my phone, I want to hit Netflix, and I want to search for some. Oh, I can't. Oh, the search button just randomly doesn't work every once in a while. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'll do it on the iPad. Oh, same thing will happen. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I want to watch Raising Arizona, film classic. No, you can't do that. You gotta you can't stream that. I mean, I understand that wait, that's wait, a publisher. Did you thing, just refer to but Raising now Arizona as that a publisher film thing classic? is ten times worse. Yeah, I still don't see this price raising thing as a big deal. Like so the customers who want the DVDs because they don't have that on their streaming and they're paying for that service so they can watch that stuff, yes, it is a big deal to them. It's a huge okay. Well, you know what? Well, Netflix, Netflix can do whatever it wants because it killed their competitors. Blockbuster is dead. Mm-hmm. So they can charge whatever they and want. What are your alternatives? So what am I going to be paying? I got one disc at a time. Sorry, I got I streaming. And uh, so what? I'm going to be paying almost 20 Six, bucks. Is that it? $16 yeah. a month. Gee, that's what I started with for two discs. <laughs> and I get way more content now than I did when I had two DVDs only. So, but, well, well, my thing is, I use Netflix enough that when you look at even like just, just the DVDs I get in versus what I would have paid at $5 a pop on On Demand, um, and plus everything I watch on streaming, I mean, it's just obscene. Right. So I mean that's still a good deal. It's just they're doing a price Ready? adjust because what what's up? What's up? Ready? Right. And now we're gonna go into my rebuttal to everybody who says I want to cut the cord because I want to save money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So remember how we were talking about like oh you can get Netflix and Hulu and that's only like twenty bucks and I Ooh. could save money. Ooh. And then we started talking about the sports streaming packages. This was the show that uh, the Brian. Was doing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. So you have Netflix and Hulu. Netflix and Hulu, so if you keep your current plan so you can get the up-to-date content and not the random stuff that they decide to throw on streaming, although there are some uh, you know, video classics such as the entire Power Rangers series, which Chachi watched about half of. Damn, I watched great. 1,800 minutes of Power Rangers for $7 last month. <laughs> that's hey, that's fine. That's a steal. I dare you to watch other stuff that's newer than 1994. Uh, <laughs> so, hey, I watched uh, Too Fat Gee, for Forty, Torchwood, uh, Doctor Who from the last like six years. Uh, I think the new Torchwood's going to be on there. The Star stuff's going to be on there. I watched Spartacus on there. Yeah, Phineas All and right, Ferb. Well, let me let me I spent let me a whole throw day this out watching there. Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What's up? Which is a great show. So Netflix charges you sixteen. Hulu charges what nine? Eight. Seven? Eight? eight. Okay. Eight. Seven ninety nine. One of those numbers between seven and ten. And honestly, <laughs> honestly, it's one of those. I pay eight dollars a month to Hulu so I can watch most of the stuff I went to on the Xbox. That's that's really what it boils down to. So you have eight dollars plus sixteen. That's twenty four. And it's okay. still cheaper. It's still cheaper. Now add in sports. Sports is sports is the thing. I mean, but well. And, Let's look You're at now up to uh, you throw an NHL game center, which is one hundred and sixty dollars okay. for the season. Okay. So if you take that and average that out over the year, that's like twelve bucks a month ish, something in that range. So thirty six. So now, what if you want to watch Major League Baseball or the NBA or the NFL, which isn't, which doesn't have any streaming of any way, shape, or form? Uh, well, the NFL, most of it's on over the air television for free. What if you're my dad and you live in Edinburgh and you're in the Bills market? What if you're not in the market your team is? Well, you know you what? If, watch if your you, team. And if you were a market you wanted to watch your team, you're dropping for that uh, direct TV package anyways. That's right. True. And you're now into that $40 range, which is where this is currently sitting. And I still, and then you have to add in your internet costs on top of that, which you already would if you had regular TV. Yeah. But now it's not bundled. So Comcast is going to knock you for an extra 10. I think Verizon knocked you for an extra 10. So now you're right back up to the same level as a regular cable bill. But you're getting less content. Yep. But are you missing any content? Is there anything you really want to see that's not in there? Live sports that aren't yeah. the NHL, MLB, or the NBA. I want to watch. I want to turn on a random channel and I want to just watch something. Okay, it's okay. not there. That that sort of thing isn't there. I can't watch. I I don't think did, Chachi. Do they have the Transformers and GI Joe on Netflix? No, they don't. Oh uh, yeah, they have oh, GI no, Joe. They don't. GI Joe that. the movie or all oh, the old cartoons? Yes. Last no, the, I the knew, cartoon. last I knew they were free over on Juiced. 
On what? Okay, but that's another site, though. Yeah. Juice. I don't know. Oh, actually. Juice is still around? If, if I'm, like, cutting a cord to save money, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to cut a cord and then complain about not having options. You know what I mean? If I'm cutting a cord, I'm, willing, I'm ready to make some sacrifices. Mm-hmm. But you, know you know shouldn't I mean? have to make sacrifices. Right. Mm-hmm. The sure, content yeah. right now is locked up by the same people who say we're pushing forward into the future with our content and we're using new technology to do this, that, and the third, and they aren't. This goes They're back. This keeping... all falls back to the same reason that you are paying an ungodly amount of money for text messages from any provider. Mm-hmm. Yep, because it uses no reason for it, but channel. you need to turn a buck. So yeah, your Netflix text messaging system, your text messaging. message actually goes over the emergency channel on a cellular network. By the way, just getting in, you know loading up again, it goes over the emergency channel, the same channel that nine one one uses. Your text message to your wife that says "be home in a bit" is the exact same thing. Okay, uh, so I, so we they charge you twenty dollars a month. We've built for this unlimited that. We've built this around the fact that you're getting sports packages. What if you're like chill in the chat room? What if you're like uh 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 uh, Dab Attack that was on a, a few episodes ago, um, you know, and you don't care about sports. You if went you out, If you don't care about sports, then yeah, you can save 15 bucks a month. Yeah, it's like, okay, so I'm not catching CBS because I'm annoyed with how their site operates. So what? You know, I'll catch the DVD later because I have Netflix, Netflix Unlimited. Yeah, the thing that, not really, that really uh, ch- ch- champs my bit <laughs> Butters your really biscuit. grinds your gears. <laughs> grinds my gears. Okay, so the uh, you know the the biggest problem, the people that are really going to complain about this, are the people who grew up on cable television. <laughs> people who have that like idea that you know I just want to turn on a thing and have some pictures move on. Yeah, because that's exactly. what we grew up with. Yeah, but. So what about the kids that are growing up today and they're watching TV shows today? Well, sorry, kids, your stuff isn't available on Netflix. Oh, so you get Hulu and then you go back to the whole package thing. So the the thing is that the way that these mediums are being delivered should be cheaper because of the way that it's all being done. It's all a whole lot cheaper than broadcast television, but the deals aren't in place and the people who are making the deals what right is now... In, wait, what like is the guy cheaper? sitting on top at Netflix right now is too okay. freaking old. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. So so what's, what is so expensive? They split out the DVDs, which, I'm sorry, it's got postage. The postage rates are raising all the time. They're still having problems with that. They have all these facilities they have to manage. Obviously, there's a cost that goes with that, and obviously the stuff with the streaming should be cheaper. I'm, and they're trying to move people away from the physical Well, if you DVDs have people cutting a cord and want to make a sacrifice, then maybe Netflix should cut a lot of their distribution centers and maybe make people can wait a day for their movie. And they've already cut down on the mass of DVDs that they have. <laughs> they don't offer half as much stuff as they used to, but they do get the new things. Right, but, I mean, I'm all for, you know, I want everything to stream. I hate physical media. Kill it. I don't care. But... The, the Wrong, kids that are going to like grow having... up into this generation of streaming media are going to want the media that happened five seconds ago. Okay. Wrong, I don't just... care that I can watch episodes of The Simpsons that are 10 years old. Or, from, still not or from last night. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 it's not. It's no good. I think... They want now. And the deals aren't in place with Netflix right now for you to be watching what's happening right now. So I if think... you want to watch Cherme, Dexter, uh mm-hmm. Out of Thrones, whatever mm-hmm. it's called, Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. You can't watch it. Sorry, it's not available because the um, deals aren't there. So Netflix is, they're pushing really hard. The other way to look at this is with any luck, the publishers will look at this and say, oh, crap, Netflix is cutting physical media. Maybe it's about time we finally cut some deals and got some instant content up. I, I, I don't know. I think, um, I, I mean, I agree with Rob. I think um, Cutting out physical media is a great way to go about things. You but guys just don't like to have stuff in your house. I do. I know. I do like having stuff. <laughs> it's not me that I'm worried about. I can stream stuff. I can watch DVDs. <laughs> but uh, around 10 percent of the country doesn't even get basic broadband. Mm-hmm. You know, the internet itself straight up doesn't exist in a lot of people's lives in the United States. Wait, are you You're trying talking about, to get money out of us? To... Are you talking about back home? No, no. Okay. Back home. No, back, back down on the farm. No, because back home, you know, there is, you know, they alternative fi- methods like, um, uh, what is it my mom uses? Windstream. Okay. And even here in the city, because um, I think it's Verizon won't touch, like, downtown Pittsburgh and the surrounding areas. My friend who lives in the south side uses something called Clear, which mm-hmm. is like yep. 30 bucks a month and the internet's great. I'm talking about, like, middle America... 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, U- let's U- look at Utah. Nebraska. Yeah. Nebraska. The FCC recently reported that more than 300,000 people, almost 20% of the state, can't even get low-end broadband. So, and um, you just, you just can't watch that stuff over dial-up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. You are trying to get money out of us. Wh- wh- who am I asking for money out of this? This is like a... The, uh, it's not uh, a pledge drive. It's an infomercial. You don't no, know. no, no, no. Kickstarter for this. I'm just... I'm, uh, that's, uh, why didn't I think about that? I should have started a Kickstarter. Online with me. <laughs> no, I don't want these people on the internet anyway. Cause... For, just, for just a low, low Take mouth. Take that, Nebraska. For just, yeah. I'm for sorry. Just eat a, it. Nobody for just can, I say, can I say eat it? I'm sure, why not? Eat it, Nebraska. <laughs> for just a low, low no, 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 I, donation I of I, $20 a month, you can adopt <laughs> a family <laughs> Nebraska. in Nebraska <laughs> and provide hey, them with hey, high speed. You know speed. what, guys? You know what, though? Yo, hey, back home, Chachi. Yo, we, got, we got back home in Greenville. All the video stores are dead. Hollywood video's out. The, all the mom and pop ones are gone. But back, at, back, back down the road in Jamestown, where we barely have a, a DSL that'll work properly, the video shelf's still still alive and kicking man right mm-hmm. so so this this is this is that's just... because they're they're hillbillies <laughs> who want physical content i like touching things exactly that's i what like it touching is. my dvds and my cow what do you poop. mean what do you um, mean my movie just comes to me through the air what are you some sort of wizard exactly <laughs> we, we can't have all y'all sending all y'all movies through these tubes because they're gonna get clogged <laughs> 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 Monsters running around right but it now. Goes back around to around it and goes... he's gonna find himself a movie. You know he doesn't like Van Damme, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a Steve. And then what's gonna? Man. I mean, what if what if a junction gets all clogged up or something? We end up rerouting, and then my cousin who likes Van Damme and I don't like Van Damme, <laughs> it ends up in my QE thingy, and then I'm seeing Van Damme on my TV, and I just wanted to watch Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> see Van Damme, and everything got all confabulated, and now I got Steven Seagal. <laughs> but I'm, this is a cultural thing. I mean, we talk about what about the kids that want to watch this thing. You know, to the kids, if, if the kid's sitting there, and he's got his Netflix, and he's got a li- his list of all these cartoons, he doesn't give a crap if they're released in 2012 or, or 1995. He's not going to know yeah, the but, difference. And yeah, that's his world to him. Do you know how dated The Simpsons looks to a kid right now? Oh, man. It's worthless. Literally worthless. You know how dated The Simpsons looks to me right now? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Compare it to, like, like Dora hey, the Explorer. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take the stance because I think somebody has to take this stance because anytime this conversation happens, this stance is taken by somebody, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Just go outside and read a book. <laughs> go climb a tree. <laughs> climb a tree and read no, a book. Go read a book can, in the tree. Somebody said it. Read an iPad can, in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you guys, uh, uh, but but if you're gonna go outside and read a book, can you um, like like listen to us while you do it though? Yeah, there you go. That's there you go. Me. Just put it on. Use Just your headphones. I can watch my Netflix in a tree. Is that fine? <laughs> Is that okay? No. no. No, you're supposed to read a book. I guess I'm paying more for it, but... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Basically, the whole point of this conversation is that cutting the cord isn't very cheap anymore. That's not true. I haven't had cable since, so... Uh... You don't like sports. I don't like sports. That's true. Okay. That's okay. Josh's that right. Works for us. That's Josh's right. For us. I don't like. I don't watch. That's sports. fine. I'm. I'm. That's I not mean, fine for me. Right. I cut the cord. Right. That's fine. Not fine for you. My tithe. Oh, well, guess what? Uh, sports just became a a, a a premier thing for you to 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 want to pay for. It. I like sports, so it's easier for me to pay cable and watch sports than it is to not pay cable and not watch sports. So I is cut this... the cord. And all I have to say is, man, a lot of people. I don't pirate anything, but a lot of people do. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's very true. You know, sometimes though. That's a thing that happens. Sometimes though, it's not. It, it's hard to distinguish because if it's okay, if I don't know what the hell copyright is, and I go to a certain site called Daily Motion, I see last night's pay per view on it, and I don't know any better, and I'm just some average wrestling fan. No, that is not your fault. Okay. <laughs> No, no, you you can't get in <laughs> Thank trouble. Thank you. I was feeling guilty about that. No, you cannot you cannot get in trouble for going to a site like Daily Motion and watching the content that they provide. Uh huh. Because you had no part to play in obtaining it, or, or uploading sharing. it, or hosting it. Mm-hmm. You Therefore, were just a consumer. yeah, you you as far as they know, you went to the website, you hit play, and it, you're watching it. 
You and can't get in trouble. Thing. Yeah, you cannot yeah. get in trouble. For I mean, that. and I'm sure I could watch a, a sports game on there, or, or right. just, just not, bounce around YouTube and find 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 the Penguins game or the, the Pirates live. game. Yeah, you can. It's out there. Not on YouTube. <laughs> not on YouTube. No, no. <laughs> but sports is a live thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. sports is not something you can DVR and watch later. Right. Okay. Because well, is, of the way that it's not as good, right? It's one, it's yeah. not as good, and two, I see sports scores every morning. I hear people talking about it at work. It's not the same thing. It's not like oh, I can just I'm going to DVR this show and I'm going to watch it next week. Mm -hmm. It's I have to watch it right now. Mm -hmm. And I think if the I people, don't, I'm going to miss out. And I think the the successful happy cord cutters are the ones that are like, well, maybe maybe it's the busier people that aren't aren't around in home to watch their. Their, their show when it comes on, when American Idol comes on or whatever, uh, when The Office comes on, you know? These people that, that want their schedule slid, so they, they don't care if they have that, you know, easy access just by flipping the channel on, because they're not home to, to enjoy it in the first place. Right. Alright. That's, uh... But, yeah, uh, no. <laughs> I like the show titles, Netflix Be Damned. <laughs> I'm still not angry at Netflix, by the way. No, yeah, no, I, I, I actually made the decision just last week that it's been too long, and it's I'm I, there's no reason for me to not have Netflix anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So hey, I did I'm, the same thing like two weeks ago, and I still freaking hate it. <laughs> it's not well, just, for everybody. I'll apparently. just watch mine on my laptop, though. I won't. I mean, it won't be on. Also, let Silverlight yeah. really Silverlight. Come on. It was yeah, better I, than the Flash days, sir. It was way better than the Flash days. I mean, that didn't even work on a Mac back then. Jeez. But uh, yeah. Oh, I was fine. You know I have what? my PC here, so I mean, the flash days were cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, um, I'm on the wrong show for that, aren't I? Yes. Anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. Um, yes, Acer. Listen. Oh, and for the record, I'm, it's just going to be. Um, I am just going to get just streaming. I have no interest in the. Physical yeah, that's. What I just. Yeah. I'm just yeah. Yeah. I no yeah. I mean, I still do because I like to get the newer stuff. But although with Zediva, I don't know. It's kind of cheaper. Oh man, get... have you used that yet, I, dude? I got three credits sitting there, and I haven't had the chance to be like, just sit down and do it. But that you need to cash it in, dude. I knew, I do. Oh yeah, they're probably going under soon, huh? Yeah, yeah. I got three movies. In, to watch. There's some Russian then... person who's going to get killed. But <laughs> <laughs> but then there's... no, I sit down and watch. And I'm like, I already, I already watch all these DVDs on Netflix, man. No, make, you need to just pick make a movie. the robot press this. play. I do have to make the robot. I will watch Green Green Hornet yet again just to make that happen. <laughs> Although I hear that's going to be on stars, which is going to be on screen. Oh my god! What? Holy crap! Oh, holy crap! Whoa! <laughs> I know you have cats. <laughs> I told you they were doing some Mortal Kombat stuff. <laughs> But uh, like, the one cat just put the other cat like in a total lock, and they did this amazing like 360 barrel roll of midair. It was amazing. <laughs> All right, let's uh, okay, speaking of Mortal Kombat, let's have some tablet wait, combat. Hold hey, on. AJ, wait, wait, we got something else? Yes. Okay. What do you want? Oh, sorry, Chachi? cats happen, wow. and I don't know what's going yeah. on. I, I got cut off. I got cut off in my statement, and then you guys just tried to move <laughs> it's on. It's over. It's over. It, as far as I'm concerned, Netflix, you have earned the right to charge whatever you want for your service. Yeah, yeah. You destroyed your at. competitors. You win. You're the champion. <laughs> yes. You you get to help hold their disemboweled head over the competition and charge me another ten dollars. Right. Okay. I, no, I have and a question. The, the way I see this whole thing is that we're we're. I mean, we have been for the last couple of years, but for a lot of technologies that are growing, there's going to be a lot of really awkward transitions where the people in Nebraska can't watch anything. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this will be Awesome Cast 59. <laughs> Screw. Eat it, Nebraska. <laughs> Eat it, <laughs> Nebraska. <laughs> now, I, I have a question for you, and I'm sorry, Sorg, for the crossover for the other podcasts that I'm involved That's fine. with. It happens all the time. Um, but uh, riddle me this. Do you feel the same way about WWE charging more for pay-per-views? Because they killed and disemboweled all their competitors, and then they started raising their prices. Listen, when the product is worth it, then they mm. can charge whatever they want. Gotcha. Well, yeah, is it, aren't they aren't they dropping uh, in numbers every month in their pay per view buys? That's a whole other transition that needs to happen. Right, it's long in tooth. It's long in the tooth, and it's ripe for somebody else to step in there. You said right. long in the tooth. Yes, well, we've, I, I love that We talked about this on the other show that will be named right now, the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Listen to that after this. Um, <laughs> we talked about that. Right. I was on that show, right. and we talked. Yeah, yeah, and yes. We said, look, look, WWE. I know that you uh, love your, your buy rates. I know that you love to know that you brought in The Rock so that you could hit a million buy rates for WrestleMania 20, whatever it was. Please, 
put it online, charge half, and you can run the Netflix model into the ground. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All you, that's all you have to do. You could charge twenty five. Other promotions, ROH, uh, and other such illustrious promotions that I can't name off the top of my head right now charge what ten to fifteen on IPPV. Do that. Charge twenty five because if you have the content that's on national television and people regard it as better. So charge the extra ten. I'd pay twenty five every month. No problem. Right. And we've been. That's this is the out. same path. Mm-hmm. It's a cheaper content delivery system mm-hmm. because they don't have to deal with the cable providers and the satellite providers and all that other goo gob and nonsense. Put it out for twenty five, <laughs> and let's see what happens with those buy rates. Do it one month. We don't have to do it every time. Do it for one month. Do it for like uh, SummerSlam next month, and let's see what the buy rates are. Make it right. Make it in Flash or Silverlight. Uh, make it HD. The same way that I would get on my TV, but instead I'm watching it on my tiny screen on my laptop or my desktop. <laughs> and let's see down. this happen. Uh, hey, some from, but, from from the chat room, if on. I could. Uh, is that okay? Is that right? I had a comment to you add. Had a comment? But, yeah. But what, go you ahead. what you got? Well, what you got? Well, I was gonna say. You're like, you know, straighten, straighten up your posture, sir. But uh, no, I'm comfy. Get into and this. And I'm interested. Get into this. Fine. Get into this. Get in the like. But. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> the, the difference between WWE and Netflix is Netflix just took over. Yeah. So they have the right to charge whatever they want mm-hmm. because their service is still good right now. Mm-hmm. But WWE started off good and now just got lazy and is giving it crap. Okay. No competition. Right. So. And if Netflix goes that way, then we'll have the right to be angry about it also. And somebody else will step up, hopefully. Right. Hulu, for instance. Uh, from the chat room, a couple of, a couple of comments. Uh, kids don't care about live TV. They want it DVR'd or on demand. Most kids watch Disney oh, DVDs it. anyways. That's why I'm like, that's nice. Because you don't pay that $20, $25 for that, Dis- that limited release Disney DVD. You'll let them sit there and watch wherever they want. So they're not watching the same DVD over and, t- and over again. You know how but effective, hey, dude, every that's time so I've effective to, to just show them the same thing. What, what's that? Uh, it's, it's so effective to just show them the same thing over and over again. Okay. I have also, a, my I friend Leah. Up that, I want to clear up that when I said kid, I didn't mean like five year old. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean like two year old. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm whatever. not. I'm not talking about the kid that's just going to drool on the carpet while watching the same DVD over and over. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell you about the, like the kid who like I don't know like what, like ten years old or what? What you have there, AJ? Uh, it's the same. Anytime I've ever watched my cousins, they want, they want that one, mm-hmm. and you can't do that with Netflix. You can only do that with buying the actual content. Mm-hmm. They just want that. I want to watch this one. And yeah. you go, okay. And you slap that one in the DVD player and off they go. But you can't do that with Netflix because eventually if you want another movie, you got to get that one out. you got to swap it out with something else. And then we got to tell a kid who wants just that, just that one piece of plastic in the player. <laughs> You're going to tell that kid, no, you can't have it. And then, You're gonna and, have to and, wait. Then, and then you end up buying it on iTunes, says so Chilla. Um, <laughs> anyhow, to the chat room. Let's see. Chilla wants uh, Chachi be his lawyer. And uh, John is accusing AJ of just want, wanting to not be out of the water cooler talk. What? Wait, what? <laughs> hey, I like sports, and I don't care who knows. There you go. He ain't afraid. He ain't afraid. I, I, uh, I appreciate I your Lonely Island reference, sir. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I miss... Pr- I, I'm the... I don't know, priest, a reverend, I guess. So yeah. I guess I could be his lawyer too. Okay, why not? It's got to yeah. be an online certificate for that too, yeah, right? Why not? Why uh, not? No, no, you either schools, <laughs> the schools. Yeah. No, whatever. Harvey Birdman got his he in got like fifteen. Minutes. I mean, legally, can I just change my la- legally blonde my, my title to Esquire and be done with it? <laughs> there you go. There you go. It's right well, you on, were right a down. judge at one point. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I technically still am. My term's not over. You're an elected official. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, no, believe it or not, it's a four-year term. <laughs> You work eight days in four years, but it's four a four-year term. Years. Even if the old ladies drive you out, you're still... Four more, more years, years of four more years. Four there more years. But yeah, four right. more years. Uh, I want to try to get the one or two things here on this, on this long <laughs> list. Holy crap. Uh, I, I thought we were going around to this. ISPs issue six strikes. So or so ish. Oh yeah, that's the maybe. I mean, thing. it's like three strikes and then. Uh, and then uh, maybe we'll we'll send it to you again. You know what? Riddle me this. Huh? Um, okay, so uh, let's and- say yeah. R- riddle me this, Sorg man. 
Uh, I don't know. It didn't work. Let's no, ed- it did. Edit it that out. Edit no, that out. It worked. Uh, <laughs> it worked. Go with it. All right. So let's say I'm on Comcast and I download the Avengers whenever that comes out. Okay. It launches two days later. Somebody pirates it, puts it up on uh, BitTorrent, and I download it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to know what happens if you do that? I, no, I know what happens. Josh, knows what happens. My question, I, I my question I... is. Um, if they say they're going to send you a warning email. Yeah. That's one of the first strikes. Yeah. What email are they going to send that to? My Comcast email that, that no one in their right mind uses? That's a good question. Well, You're going to get a physical letter. See, I, I already that, like yeah. no, the, I thought the better. physical letter was like the fifth strike or something no, like that. It was. It's any any notification. <laughs> is it all? Well, that's good. That's, that's well, for legal purposes, something smart. Is, is, I would just like to state that I already like this system a lot better. <laughs> the old system that scared the pants off you? Because, let's see, I downloaded a 60-minute episode of House. Okay. They shut my cable off. Whoa! They sent me a, a big a, a big rear-end package in a manila envelope <laughs> that says, uh, Dear Anthony, last name here, from NBC Universal. <laughs> um... And it's a very long packet full of legal information and IP addresses and... uh, Yeah, in the end, this is better for the end user. Yes. Because what this does is it makes it so you can't get a package from NBC Universal. It means that you will get a letter from your cable company. They Mm -hmm. don't have... This basically removes the right for the, uh, for say, NBC Universal to call Comcast and say, give us this person's name and their home address. And they'll say no. Tell us what they did, and we will issue a notice. We will address it. We will handle it. We, yes. will, we will become the judges of our own other people on our own. I service. am already a big fan. I, I think mm-hmm. that's. I think that's <laughs> fine because then your your information isn't getting out there to the stormtroopers. And sorry for the video. Uh, and and <laughs> hey, look at that. <laughs> the stormtroopers. That's awesome. Why didn't I? That, that's great. It was a Zars technique. And this this also means that Comcast will not be filtering. They will not be looking for your torrents because it is none of their business. It, so, it puts the onus of piracy control on the corporations like CBS or whatever to keep an eye on their own content, and it is no longer Comcast's prerogative to keep an eye on what you're doing. Which makes them just the pipe. Just uh, wait, back no, no, to no, no, just no. The I thought I thought that the definition of this was that it was the ISPs that were taking care of this, but thing. they bypass. They they're not the ones looking for you. Yeah. The, the oh, copyright I see. holders. I see come the copyright holder. Okay. And they right. bypass. This. I already. I love the system. Just like, I follow you just now. like if the copyright owner comes to YouTube and you get the notice on your video, as has happened to us many times. Gotcha. I, I love the system already. Yeah. On the on the on the opposite end of um, the Chachi spectrum here, I did something similar. I did a few downloads. Comcast never got a hold of me. Nobody got a hold of me. Comcast just started slow, like. Uh, s- throttling. At first, slowly, and then a bunch throttling my internet. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, Comcast shut off my internet. <laughs> yeah, that's, and, a, that's extreme. That's yes, bit, I that's called them, and they this said... This is several years ago. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't recent. It was a, a while so ago. So was mine, to be fair. But, um, I called them because my internet would not work, and that was the first thing I noticed. I didn't notice that the TV wasn't working, mm-hmm. just that the internet was not working. Because you're too busy pirating things. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> to, to bother with the television. And, uh, I was too like, busy on you, the web and her browser. Why are you stealing um, something you're browsing. paying for anyways? What's that? Why are you stealing something you're paying for anyways? I, I, I went to work, and I missed the episode, and it was deleted from my DVR. And I wanted to so watch Comcast it. So Comcast failed you on two counts? Yes. So you thought so this is a I, justified piracy? Yeah, I'm like, you know what? I'll download it. I'll watch it. I'll delete it. Boy, were you wrong? Yeah. Well, they they played dumb. Like the the service center I had to call. I called them. They said, "Oh, we don't know why your your internet's not working. We'll send out a tech to look at it." <laughs> huh? And the tech came out and touched every computer in the house. To find the IP address that he was looking for. Okay. To verify that I was the one who downloaded and broke the copyright. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you kind of had an illegal search happen. Yes and no. You let him in? Yeah, I let him in. Okay. So. Just because you let him in doesn't mean he can search through your stuff like that. It was all stuff that he would have had to check anyhow. Mm. 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 That's uh, that's mm. pretty pretty fishy, pretty fishy. Hey, can I drop some bad news on the show right now? What's up? Oh. Bad news, guys. Huh. I know we all love the Google Plus. Yeah. 
We yes. all love it a great deal. Oh, and yeah. they're about to open up that API, which means that people can create things that can put, you know, Twitter feeds into Google Plus and vice versa. And that sounds great. But apparently Google is opening it. So Mafia Wars and Farmville. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Well, the <laughs> the uh, Google, uh, Google Plus tweet, which is a Twitter account on the Twitters, uh, said, hey... <laughs> uh, we're opening up the API. Expect Mafia Wars and Farmville to migrate. And I'm just, I quit. I'm just putting this out there. Dear people who uh, are, I'm friends with on Google Plus and on the internet, if I get one notification from you that you want me to water <laughs> your crops or help you defeat the Mafia, I will block you and not talk to you ever again. Yeah, that, that, well, that's the thing. We have the no, tools to deal with this hey, AJ, let me, let me and be... push them back. Good. Hey, AJ. Uh, Will you uh, look after my goats? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he found a, a there, black sheep. <laughs> there are things that I would say to you right now <laughs> on on television. I'm absolutely <laughs> with you though. I, I I'm so beyond sick of this total perversion. Of I, I me, thought that's what this was. I, I didn't realize they were gonna open up the API. No, no, no. Be no. optimistic for a little bit. Okay. Facebook. Okay. Facebook had its time. Okay. Can we agree on that? Yeah. We Facebook had its time. It was it was after you could say it's still right in the middle of its after, time. After after MySpace, you mm -hmm. know, Facebook was an all right place to be for a little bit there. Yeah. And during that time we did still have very stupid things. Remember remember when the only thing to do on Facebook was, you know, that horrible vampire thing and everyone was sending you vampire things and yeah. poking. I, I just poked them. There That's was why poking. I left. Poking That's left. why we left, yeah. I'm <laughs> saying like, we'll probably have a few more good years of Google. Do you want to poke why back? Did you stop? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to poke we'll this person back? <laughs> we'll have a few more good years of Google Plus, and we'll see where it goes. And then, then maybe the next new amazing social network will <sighs> crop up. You know what? These so things much. aren't made to last forever. We'll always have Twitter. <laughs> they can't put it's Farmville right. on Twitter. That is true. Yeah, I don't have really. Nothing has really gotten to Twitter yet. No. The only problem with Twitter right now is that they want to put ads in my stream. They just want to just plop oh, it right already, into my timeline. I already timeline. get ads in my stream. I get them on Hootsuite already. Lots of sponsored. Oh, hey, tweets. did you know you can check in on Google Plus? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's a thing. They didn't use. They didn't touch Foursquare at all. They made their own thing. <laughs> Google Plus. Just let's do what everybody else does. <laughs> All yeah, my, my my big issue here is that they they want to. If they're going to open this up, they're going to turn it into Facebook too, and that's it. That's all it's going to be. I mean, thankfully, Electric my high school friends aren't on there, and my my mom isn't on there, and my brother and my sister aren't on there. So, a lot of the dumb stuff has been kept away right now, and there's really good content right now on Google Plus because people give a crap about it. Mm -hmm. Eventually. That tide's going to turn, and anybody is going to be able to get on Facebook or on Google+, and Google+, Plus is going to go the way of Facebook, where it's just a name content, and, oh, hey, did you see this picture of this kitten holding onto the rope? It really symbolizes my life, <laughs> and that's going to happen, and we're... I'm just going to be mad about it, really. To my mom's eternal credit, um, I... Uh, she called me when she when I got out of work today, and she was like, "Hey, I found this uh, I found this website, um, and it's really great, and I'm I'm actually going to join it because she's not on Facebook, and she's like, it, it's it's an awesome website, and I don't know if you've heard of it, uh, it's called MySpace, <laughs> 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 and she was kidding, to her eternal credit, she was kidding, and she she got the joke, but thank God, yeah, solid work, wow. Mama Lunchbox, yeah, wow, Mom, that's Fan. at at Fan of Forty Eight if that's you right. wanna. That's right. Or you can just check the tweet where I said that she hasn't been tweeting a lot. Which, oh, she said which, she said thank you by the way. Which she, which prompted her to tweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, by the way, I played with a touchpad. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sorry. I, I played with 10.1 this weekend. Mr. Okay. Wheels. Hey, look at us. We're playing with tablets. Yeah. Yeah, what are we doing with them? Uh, the HP touchpad, the software is really awesome. Yeah. And I wish I could get that software on an iPad. Because the iPad has the, uh, the iPad arguably has the best hardware so far. Mm -hmm. um, I really really <laughs> like the iPad's hardware. Uh, the problem with the HP Touchpad is that the um, the speaker like, on the iPad it's on the bottom down by the uh, the home button and the dock connector. On the Touchpad it's on the side, oh. and the grills are really sharp. Wait, who's like, rearranging? 
<laughs> Who's rearranging furniture? Who's wrecking? Probably things. Rob. Rob yeah, well, was somebody one. was entering the the establishment. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> Sorry, AJ. Go ahead. But yeah, the speaker girls are on the side, and it's just like everybody has in in every review I've read has said this. The edges of the speaker girls are sharp. That's a fact that actually exists. There it is. Uh, right but the there. software is really nice. Uh, it appears that they have a solid app selection. Okay. Um, the web browsing is really nice. The inline flash works. It's slow, uh, which I totally expected from a uh, from this tablet. Although they are coming out with the uh, the 4G model, which actually has a faster processor and uh, uh, AT and T's fake oh, 4G, okay. not LTE, just <laughs> fake 4G. <laughs> Um, but it's actually really good. Uh, I wouldn't buy one, but if somebody gave me one, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be upset about it. I had a chance to uh, get my hands on Wheels' tab. Whoa! Ten point one. Wow! Wow! Whoa! Ten point one. Wow! No. Um, it looks nice. Uh, very widescreen. I noticed right off the bat. Uh, Angry Birds looked nice on it, although it seemed definitely like a lower resolution than Why is it I the see on the first app you open on every what? device what you else touch. Am I gonna, well, actually, the first app I opened was the Wrestling Mayhem Show app, which of looked course. pretty all right on sure. there. So, well, yeah, what's up? You know. Um, but it was decent. Uh, the, the lack of buttons kind of threw me. Yeah, that lack of buttons on all of the gal on all of the um, honeycomb tablets yeah. Yeah. of various Ooh, forms beer. confuses me greatly. Uh, by the way, if you see me pouring yeah. there, uh, oh, nice do. beer from uh, Meadville, Pennsylvania, called uh, nice, White Magic of the Sun huh. by Voodoo nice. Brewing. Uh, there are yeah, other podcasts racist. that can tell you about beer. I'm just telling you the one I'm drinking right now. <laughs> Should um, I drink that? That lack of buttons, yeah, threw me off too. As yeah. an iPad user and an iPhone user, I expect that that home button, that, that be one there. button, that one button. <laughs> I that, mean, that, and then it was like, well, you touch the one on the top, and I'm like, which side is the top? Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no reference. I mean, you I have no button to tell me where the top. Yeah, is. it's like, well, well, where's the top? And he had it in a case that flipped over, but uh, <laughs> I, 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 I think he'll be fine off. with it though. Uh, I didn't try to open Get Glue or anything because we definitely didn't have internet. It's only a, a Wi-Fi, I believe. Oh, uh, I, I, hopefully he's in there to correct me if I'm wrong. So he's, he's just laughing. laughing at me. Yeah, he's just laughing at yeah. me. So, well, guys, I on want, that note, I want that home. By the way, I, I think it's it's still not an iPad. No, it's not. Which is, it just, There's not a device out there that's an iPad. That is true. Well, that, that is a safe comment. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's what every tablet's going to be compared to, and there's not yeah. one. Mm-hmm. And they can keep trying. Maybe and they'll get lucky one day. And it's the, the, I mean, like the, the, the my touch is like, is I feel like it's the closest thing to an iPad you can get right now, AJ? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... And it's the people the t- where- not the my touch, the touchpad. Yeah. Touchpad. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I was it's wondering the closest what, what, I've played sorry. with that gets close to an iPad. Yeah, and and then and then the Galaxy, it's another Android, and it's having the Android problems. Um, but I mean, it's looking what it's doing. I mean, it's definitely a step up from that first Samsung tab that we played with in Verizon. There, Trotch. All oh, those I'm sad sure news from HP. It can only go up from there. Yeah. Because yeah. that was terrible. Uh, sad news from HP, guys. Are they uh, Paul. Uh, Paul Rubenstein, who was the uh, chairman of Palm uh, before they got bought by HP and then was in charge of that Palm division, uh, has left uh, HP to go to another company. I can't remember which one. So now the guy in charge of HP PC division has been slid over to the mobile market. So now uh, the touchpad is doomed. No and so is Web OS. Well, we didn't know how long that was going to last. So, uh, or it was John you know. Rubenstein. I'm sorry, not there Paul Rubenstein. John so they're not even going to get to the 2.0 to hopefully nope. get a little bit better. Well, so. the uh, uh, HP and, and, and Web OS, they're talking about licensing it to be run on different devices. Like uh, Samsung's already been rumored to be producing a device for uh, for this software. But uh, I, I, Paul or John Rubenstein was the guy who designed the interface for the original iPhone. It'll happen live on the awesome cast. <laughs> this guy knew <laughs> his work. stuff, and he knew how to make a good interface. And, the, and WebOS has a fantastic interface. Yeah, the problem is, is they've never had hardware that matched. So 
hopefully HP and it gets their stuff together and they put good hardware behind WebOS because I really think it's a solid OS that people can get behind um, and could be a legitimate contender to Apple's dominance in the market. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm hamming some stuff here in the, in, in, in the in the studio while I was going. I'm not I, saying anything over here. I was not watching you, Will no. play with Google Plus, <laughs> and I was keeping track of his score because every time he moved someone into a circle, it gave him a plus one, and it looks like he was playing That's a not game. Not a score. <laughs> it should yes, be. It is. <laughs> it looks like some kind of web game. You gonna go play the circle of a game with me on Google Plus? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. On that note, guys, like I think we scored, need to, we need to get this wrapped up here, nine, guys. Twelve. He scored twelve I, points in three. seconds. Seconds. That's true. I'm very good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's going to get an extra life soon. Well, what do you got going on? What do I got going on? Mm -hmm. Ooh, doggies. Nothing. Uh, yeah, nothing. Nothing really. <laughs> uh, no, I've got um, I've got thoughtfulriot.com. There's uh, making moves over there, and um, I actually just started a uh, Tumblr. Chachi, where are you going? <laughs> Chachi, where are you going, man? This Chachi's, Chachi's, don't don't mess with I think that cord. Chachi's gonna hang himself. It's rough. <laughs> don't do it, Chachi. Like, no don't more touchpad. Okay. No sorry. more touchpad. I chose okay. the wrong platform. I just I found I found a random cord hanging from your ceiling. Okay, okay. Are you a cat? What are you? <laughs> <He's> a cat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, all that stuff. Thoughtfulriot.com, and I've got some projects that are uh, in the pipeline that are actually not ready for announcements yet. So. Okay, okay. All right. Did, did, Wait, they, already, did they already was, announce? It? I think that was announced on the other show. Oh well, in that case, I'm doing a <laughs> book. <laughs> um, I'm currently uh, working on uh, releasing a book with uh, Rachel, Rachel Sager. It's a project mm -hmm. that we worked together in the past, and I'll let you know when I know more. And there was a little bit more uh, mentioned on that. If anyone wants to check out uh, freelanceforreal.com. Uh, it's going to be on the episode that launches same time this episode goes up about. So go check that out. Yeah. Uh, Chachi, hey. what's going on with you? Well, you know, I have the number one rated show on PittsburghOnVideo.org. Okay. Consistently um, every time it's up. And that's un unsung. Yeah, unsung. Um, we debuted on PCTV last week. Mm -hmm. oh, he I'm just scored like 15 po 17 17, points. 17 sorry. points on um, Google+. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, PCTV was super awesome until Will did something. <laughs> yeah. Suck it. Uh, he scored 17 <laughs> points in a row. On Google+. Plus. <laughs> yeah, at the same time. Anyhow, um, we debuted on PCTV last week. It's actually on again tomorrow mm -hmm. at 9.30. Same episode. Same episode. So if you watched it last week, don't bother watching it this week. No, watch it again. Or you can watch it again <laughs> and take notes. See if you see how much of it you have memorized. <laughs> That's right. There will be a quiz. Anyhow, on episode um, six, and then over at ChachiSays.net, we have the video game blogs, mm -hmm. um, which I'm gonna need your help soon. Stay tuned. Yeah. So <laughs> stay tuned. Yeah. Chachi. All right. Uh, AJ, what's happening with I you? I wasn't done talking. Oh, okay, yet. Chachi. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, AJ. Are you AJ? done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, I said I was kidding. Just wanted to make sure. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, busy working. Uh, nerd things happen. I write about them on my Twitter uh, at AJ Koftik. You probably saw me tweeting like a prolific monster today. Uh, if you follow me on my uh, on my at AJ Koftik account, so um, yeah, follow me there. Uh, I'm probably gonna be posting on my blog virtualpotholes.wordpress.com, which is there. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, I have some things to write there, um, specifically about uh, some licensing changes and what some are calling taxation without representation. So uh, that's some really boring, nerdy stuff. So if you're really into computers, uh, uh, follow me. I'm going to probably write a blog tonight uh, talking about that and talking about consumption licensing. So, um my nerd life is really dry from time to time, so um, that's why I talk on here and I, I say funny things on here. So just let it okay, out, bye. let it out, let it out. Rob, what's happening with you? I, I gotta tell you, I'm still pretty sad about the whole Google Plus thing, but I'm consoling myself by watching cat gifs on Google Plus. <laughs> <laughs> it's a self-help system. It well, is. Um, I uh, what do I have going on? I have the the flock of cycles thing happening. I'm going to uh, where am I going tomorrow? St. Louis. St. Louis. Yeah, go to St. Louis tomorrow. The place with that big archy thingy. It's got an arch. I've asked so many people. 
what there is to do in St. Louis, and everybody barbecue. says, well, I don't know, they have arch or something. <laughs> and good barbecue, apparently. Isn't, isn't so uh, all I have to say is St. Louis uh, Department of Tourism, get on it. Jeez, come on. Because apparently there's nothing to do in St. Louis. But I'll be back for uh, for next week's show, so that's nice. Fun hey, Rob, summer. just uh, to help you console, there is a nice uh, uh, link in the chat room just for you. Just ooh, ooh, just for ooh, you. Ooh, Other people can ooh, watch it, but just for you, really. Ooh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click the thing, and then... Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the spaghetti cat! <laughs> oh, the spaghetti cat! Thank you, AJ. That's exactly right. you're, you're very welcome. <laughs> we'll have it up in a second and of course uh, you can check out uh, I'm at Sorgatron.com I've done some posting I've done some posting so the internet was um, created for cats yes it was Damn you straight. can check us out at awesomecast.com uh, check us out <laughs> contact at awesomecast.com to contact us uh, twitter us uh, at awesomecast 724-25-ACAST 724 Two two seven eight. If you want to check all that out, and uh, what else? What else? Oh, we're on I'm iTunes. Com- we're on Blip TV. We're on YouTube. Go go we're comment on-, on us and stuff. I'm completely. We're on Google Plus. We are. Well, Sorgatron Media is on Google Plus. We're playing with Hangouts. Yes. And we had a yeah. pretty good experiment with last night. With it last night, AJ. Yeah. I like to. Hang yeah, out. that was that was good times. That was good times. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna go register the uh, Twitter name Awesome Cats. Awesome Cats. Yes. <laughs> register all that. I'm willing to bet. Dot that's com. Awesome Cats. I weep for you. Awesome Cats. <laughs> I, for, I did forget to mention one thing, um, and probably it's the thing that I do with more well, frequency I'm leave, I'm leaving the than cats anything in there. my life. That's fine. Uh, okay. Is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Oh yeah, that com. thing. Wait, I do that wait, at least What is once that right behind you? Was oh is that a it's a banner. It says uh, wrestlingmayhemshow.com. dot com. She fixed that banner. It's kind of yeah, it's kind of weird. Well, Chachi was playing with the cord that was no, pointing it up. No, it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> it was not holding it up. It's been uh, over so here hanging. Forget it. I'm going to put it up the cats, guys. This has been the awesome cast for Rob, Will, Chachi, and AJ, and the awesome chat room. This has been awesome cats. Have an awesome week. <laughs>
could, if you could just give us some of those. Wow. Just really quiet. Will is over here writing a book report. No, I'm taking notes for this show. For this show? Is it about Paul Revere? Yeah. Right? Wow, I got some fucking shit that I. Oh God. <laughs> <sighs> got some fucking shit. I man. am already sorry. <laughs> I'm already sorry. I mean, you're already sorry. You're already sorry for what? By for dropping f bombs this didn't... close to the awesome cast. Oh, you no, oh, get it all out now. Yeah, we put this after the show and don't go on TV. I spent us. I spent all day at work not cursing and now. This is the dirty part. This is the dirty part. The pooper. This is the pooper. This is this is the pooper. <clears throat> I thought that was my show. I thought that was your face. Oh. Wow. I thought we were friends. Uh, when did that happen? Whoa! <laughs> Everybody's sassy tonight. Well, fuck you, Rob. I like this. Everybody's gonna get angry. Ugh, I'm pissed. I don't fucking like you either, dick. Oh man, I don't know God. where. I don't know where Rob's coming from. I don't know where to put him. I think he's low, Rob. I put him on high, Rob. I put he's way high, Rob. I put him on low, Rob. I can talk like this. You be like. I can make funny voices all the time. Hey, he disappeared. Fuck. <laughs> That mustache of yours <laughs> looks funny, dick. Uh, what'd you say? I said your mustache looks funny, dick. Hey, yeah, I don't shouldn't really know shouldn't him. Rob get a CM Punk style mustache? No. I mean, look at that. No. He could do it. No. CM Punk? No. Yeah. No. CM Punk. No. Fuck you. Is this a Google thing? Can I Google this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Everything's a Google thing. <laughs> Although for I, to get the right one, I think you have to uh, type CM Punk TMZ and homo. Oh. Oh this is something I want to do. Because he, yeah. <laughs> uh, oddly, I'm not wrong. Uh oh, is it the one where he's shirtless with the tattoos and whatnot? He's a, that's, that's all the every, time. He's a that's wrestler. That's all the time. <laughs> no, he's got this like mustache, and it looks like it looks like a child abuser mustache or something. Because the way it is, it, it like comes down and around. It's really thin and really kind of... Oh, that right. one. Like, the one... Because I, I just did Google CM Punk TMZ homo. Is the one where he's in the, <laughs> in the black t-shirt with the yellow thing? Yeah, I think so. I think so. And it looks it like... It definitely looks like a kid toucher in that picture. Hey, I still have a hat on. I still have a hat but like, on. One down and to the right, he's got, like, this, uh... This, like, uh... This beard thing going on. That doesn't look too homoerotic, I guess. Unless you're into that kind of thing. We don't wear sunglasses on Do the awesome watch. cast. Because you're wearing doors. What's happening? <laughs> Why are you whispering what's happening? Wearing... Because I don't fucking like you. There's uh, nobody speaking into the mic until the wrong point when I turn it up. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you saying? What? <laughs> uh, hey. 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 Does this work now? Yeah. Yes. You're not farting anymore. Congratulations. No more fart. Aww. We get to see your workplace. It's a nice industrial looking balls light switch. Okay. Uh, balls. Uh, with the thing and balls. then this thing and then the. And the balls. Um. You're not as colorful as you used to be. And the balls. No, I have a much crappier camera on this on this laptop. Do you have problems with colored people, Mike? Is that your? Yeah, oh, my. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so. Oh. Yeah. Oh my. My coworker laughed his ass off when I told him that I told you about that Spanish remark today. <laughs> that was great. So he was like, "Wait, you told someone I said that?" That's hilarious. I'm like, I'm like, "Yeah, don't worry, he found it hilarious." You told several people he said that. <laughs> I, I only told him and you. What? So what is... uh, I was sitting at work today, and we're short-handed because uh, one of the people in my department quit to go to a different law firm where she's going to get paid more but have to work like 40 hours more than she already had to work. But, um, and one of the guys took off today so we were down to two people in the department. And I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom. He's like, that's why they gave you a garbage can. And I was, <laughs> and I was like, wait, I wonder what the cleaning people would say if they came to empty my trash can and found it filled with piss. And out of nowhere, he's just like, I don't know, but I bet it's in Spanish. <laughs> wow. That's and I'm like, it's funny because it's true. I'm like, that is wrong, but funny. But we don't. Oh, like you motherfucker. We don't have any. Mexican, oh, yeah, there we go. We don't have any Mexican cleaning people. Not here. No. Is it? Uh, am I now coming through super clear? You yeah. are. Yeah. 
Excellent. Holy. You sound gorgeous. Ooh, I do wow. sound gorgeous. Look that way too. So what happened there? What did you do? Um, well, let's see. My Hackintosh it's uh, been working uh, pooped out. real hard. And then uh, I got my work laptop out and then plugged in my headphones and then figured out why Skype was sending the sound of the regular speakers and not to my headphones and mic. So, yeah, there we go. Are you gathering, like, an hour's worth of conversation? No, I just, the, the stuff that I want to talk about, I don't want to fuck up the information. So. You don't want to sound like an asshole. Okay. Well, I mean, well, I want to sound like a little bit of an asshole. Yeah, right. Just like sort of an asshole. I am on the internet. If I don't sound like an asshole, I'm doing something wrong. Right. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> you know, it's, so, uh, it's a funny thing that happens when you try using Skype on the iPad uh, like a week prior to the current day, and you forget that there's multitasking because then you're sitting on your couch setting up your mic and your bookcase rings. It's really funny. Saying. That's <laughs> like the future or something. Yeah, it has yeah. to be. Alright. I think I got I was like sitting on my bookcase. I'm sitting on my bookcase. Sitting sitting on my couch next to my bookcase. And I hear the Skype noise. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? What's happening? Am I being invaded? <laughs> yeah. You're oh. being invaded by the internet. Are you talking about when I tried to call you earlier today? Yeah, just like a minute ago. Yeah, I saw I was like, Oh Rob's online, it's really early, I'm gonna call him. I'm like, why isn't he answering? Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, yeah. online on mobile device. I'm like, whoops. Yeah. That it was, was just it was battery. just hanging out on my bookshelf. It was the weirdest thing. <laughs> it's the weirdest. Weirdest thing. Oh hey, I'll give you a I've got a sneak preak of a war a sneak preak. I can't talk tonight, so get used to it. Um <laughs> of a work in progress. I mean, oh, should I that. put the camera on you? What's going on uh, over there? If you want oh, what is feet. this? You see that? What is going on there? That is a wall on my living room, and you might recognize the shape. So, what are you doing with Pittsburgh, there, guy? Oh yeah. shit! Somebody figured it out. There you go. I'm I I was really good at Lost, so. <laughs> 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 I Actually, I wasn't. I never saw a single episode of Lost. I kind of want to overheard that. I think I'm going to. Really good. What? I was really good. Yeah, of course I figured it out. I was really good at Lost. <laughs> Sorg, I'm gonna uh, send you an email with a picture, so when the time comes, you can bring it up. Hopefully, if it you is would, not your uh, underpants. Yes, your underpants. Your gentleman father. Your, uh... <laughs> your I, I, and I actually used the term uh, gentleman sausage earlier, and <laughs> my coworkers just lost their shit. They thought it was great. <laughs> Oh, this is my gentleman sausage. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on, guys. This I need to get a beer. sounds better when you back. when you say it in a sentence. Gentleman sausage. Oh. And then I smacked her with my gentleman sausage. <laughs> yeah, Speaking of shit that's inappropriate, I saw. Um, <laughs> but then I smacked him with my horrible gentleman. bosses. I saw horrible bosses last night. How was, How was it? Uh, very funny. I'll say like halfway through it, I was kind of unsure about it, but the last quarter of the movie, they smacked it out of the park, and it's hilarious. Nice. Cool. Nice. Um, Jennifer Aniston has a filthy, filthy mouth. Nice. Mm. Oh my god. Like hot, yeah. filthy, or like I've heard those things that she said, but I've never heard them as part of a feature film. Oh wow. You know. Not yeah. only is it because she's your friend. Mm. What? 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 Get she, it, well, you know, I don't know if you've show. seen. But there's a lot of buzz. Oh about how she yeah, I got gotcha. And if you've seen the trailer, you pretty much see like ninety percent of that nudity. There isn't much more than that. But the stuff that comes out of her mouth is absolutely amazing. <laughs> is like there... she, they open her character with uh, the line that is uh, pretty much verbatim. Uh, I was watching this show last night, and I fingered myself so hard that I broke a nail. <laughs> Wow, and it, get, awesome. it just gets worse from there. Like, there's times where you could see the look on everybody's faces, where like you know they're our age. They're like, I know what these words mean, <laughs> and I've seen them or heard them before. But usually, I don't have pants on, <laughs> and I'm surrounded by other people, and I'm not sure how to react. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna get more ice cream. Where's he going? Hold on. What's he doing? Hold on. He's probably doing the same thing I just did, and that, my friends, is get yourself a beer. 
Oh no, he had a picture. He had a video with Mario up. Hold on, it's loading. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. He's not moving. No. Oh wait, oh, there, there he goes. goes. There he goes. He stopped again. What the hell's going on? Boop -a -doop. Uh, I swear to God, if it's just this, I'm gonna punch you in the dick. Did you not read the description? No. It's ten hours of just this. Oh. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Is this the it's, marathon? Or? No, no, it's ten, ten hours of Mario climbing a vine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is this? Is it a link or a gift or what's happening? Uh, no, it's, it's a YouTube video. Ten oh. hours of this. I didn't know you could upload ten hours of... Neither did I, but... You know what? You get one of those accounts where it's wide open, you can do anything The question, The question is, is he, is he climbing up or is he climbing down? <laughs> oh, man, that is quite the uh, mind teaser there. It is. It is. Yeah. That is. Super Mario. Right. Also, there's also a 10-hour uh, Nan video. And Dr. Mario. All right. and Cat. We're going to do a show. I have, hey, no, I have no idea what we're talking about since I was working all day. Just hey, uh, I have a plug for a beer. So Okay, do that. Do that. Um... Uh, Voodoo Brewing's uh, White Magic of Wait, the Sun. Do you want to do, do it? Do you want to do you want to do it on the show or? No, I'm just I'm just letting you guys know that it's very good. I, I could if oh, you'd like, okay. but I think there are other podcasts in the uh, local area that would uh, be far better at telling this someone about their beer. The Doctor Mario theme song. Let's find out. Let's, no, let's not. That's gonna can't fast forward seven hours in and expect it to work. <laughs>